Hello, everyone. RPG Kingdom Kid here, back with some more Psychopaths, Mandatory Happiness. And as I, like, explain everything, I'm just going to let this roll Kingdom for a bit, because this is something that we have already seen and heard so many times that I feel like there's no need for me to read it over. Um, so yeah, we're back here with some Psychopaths, Mandatory Happiness. Uh... In the last video, we continued on our, um, you know, we continued on the trek for people. Uh, uh, sorry if I kind of left the last episode in like a sour note issue in a way. I, I just, um, I had this issue with, uh, I actually had this issue with all of them. Um, uh, all of, uh, uh, visual novels. Is that they like especially visual novels that have like s like different paths that you can take like this one and uh, Steins Gate and Steins Gate Zero. Well, actually, it's more so with Steins Gate Zero um, uh, and this one, not so much Steins Gate. But um, what I mean is like even though like technically like we're on a like even with like we take one um like. So here's the thing, like, here's a split path, like, right, like, here's the option that we can go on path A or path B, whichever choice that we pick. If we go on path A, okay, hold on, I'm going to sneeze. Ah, excuse me. Um, so you have two choices here, path to go, and then the pan on the choice you pick will take you on path A or path B. So you pick this one choice, and now you're going on path A. So this is new. Like, obviously, that makes sense that you won't be able to skip it. So, you know, like, say you're... Okay, here's a perfect example for this one. If you choose path A, you stay as an investigator. If you choose path B, you are an enforcer. That's fine. All right, so we choose path A. All right, we're going through everything. All right, we're all the way to the end. But then, when you go back, because choosing path B will lead you to a different, different end, you go to path B... The beginning starts off differently, a few things start off differently, but then it starts getting to the same thing, like, like, uh, say like the first five minutes of those paths are different because like, oh, you're treated as an enforcer or you're treated as an investigator here. But then after those five minutes, like after the whole initial, like in the, enfor in, when you become the enforcer route, it's the whole, okay, this person's now an enforcer type thing. So blah, blah, blah. Don't let it affect your work or anything like that. Okay, then we get to the point, like, where the girls left the city. That has always remained the same, regardless, but we can't skip it because we're now an enforcer. I kind of hate that, like, it's all the same words, it's all the same expressions and emotions that they're saying, people are saying the exact same things, nothing new. Like, there may be, like, one line new, but then it's only one line. Like, that's, should, like, everything should be skippable but the new lines. Like, if these are the exact same lines that we've seen or heard before, it should be skippable. I, I'm just, like, I don't know. I'm getting a little, like, we're getting close. Like, we're going to wrap up uh, Nadashiko's, uh, Nadashika, whatever her name is. We're going to wrap up her uh, story here pretty soon, like, this is going to be the last session for her, so this could be either be like one, uh, or it's going to be at least two episodes, maybe three. Uh, it has to be at least three, because um, because this path that we're going to pick is going to take us to an ending, uh, and then there's like a bad end that I'll pick as well. I don't know if I'll do that for like that, like the same episode as the one with the path or not, but we'll see. So yeah, I just, it's just getting a, a little exhausting, um, not in, like in a bad way or anything like that, like, like I'm looking at like this next one, like after we're done, when we get the endings on this route, I have to load up the save to where we, um, so yeah, here's the blackout, here's the blackout, everything they said before it is, yeah, this whole entire attack thing is going to be the exact same as well, with the whole blackout incident. And this thing with Alpha here, this should be skippable because he says the exact same thing in this saying almost every single time. But I digress. Um, so I'm just looking at this path that we will be choosing afterwards. And it's just like, so everything but the first 
Um, everything but like that first option, uh, where I'm gonna have to re uh load up a previous save and pick one thing different. That's gonna be the different thing, but then everything else afterwards should be like the same. If I'm not able to skip that stuff, I'm just going to skip it on my own by tapping the button over and over. Because that's it, that is just flat out ridiculous that I can't skip it. It should be the exact same. Like, I honestly don't understand why I can't, like, uh, skip this. Like, why it wasn't... Oh, excuse me. Why it's not, like, letting me skip it now. Even though, like I said, it's the exact same thing. Um... So I, I just don't fully understand. So yeah, we're all right. We're in the blackout now. So. Talk about um. Tただおとなしく受け取ればいいんだ。僕の与える幸せを。Uh, yeah, Black Oak. Can I skip this? Like I said, it's the exact same lines. These are all the same. Unless I'm wrong. Like, point out where there's some different... No, 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 no. Majority of those lines are the exact same. Point, point out where there's like one different... Like, someone saying one different line or something in those text boxes. Oh, and then, like, okay, I'm fine. So, I don't check on my cousin. Monday, Saki no Tedenga, Konobio in Iga de Moki, the Koto Yukuka. Soto Kakunishmas. Yeah, here we go. We're gonna. Yeah, here's another thing. This is the exact same. It's the whole, oh, we gotta go out there, and now we're gonna learn about the people getting attacked by drones, and, uh, everything. Like, it's the exact same thing. This damn alarm and everything is the exact same. Nothing is different on this path except one little tiny thing. So annoying. That alarm is so fucking annoying. Oh, Alpha's lullaby. I remember that melody. It was from a song that I always used to sing to Alpha. Even though he was not my brother or son or anything like that, I always cherished it. Okay, so this is new. But again, everything prior to it should have been different. Or it should have been skippable because it was the exact same thing. Eternal happiness, my boys.
すでに幸福の中にあるものは迎えに行くそうでないものは自らの足で天国への門をくぐれ All this sorrow, all the pain, everything that's the same thing I've said in previous timelines. <sighs> so I'm actually surprised that we got a new tip thing. Like, I thought that I wouldn't get any new tip things in t unless I was going through Takuma's side. But oh well. ゲートは明日の夜明けとともに閉じられる。その先へ到達できるのはただ幸せだけを望み、この僕を信じて進むものだけだ。永遠の幸せは。<笑> <この僕を信じて進むものだけだ。笑> ユーストレス欠乏性濃厚さのことだろう。地獄への幸せ。この町の病院じゃ Okay, I think this is actually a little different than prior, but I might as well just start reading this stuff. It might probably be different now, so like there might be some different stuff now. This was serious. If Alpha's end goal was to kill off the majority of the 40,000 civilians, then he's, he's become more of a threat than we have thought possible. A mass murderer. I meant the, the longer he was out there, the more people would die. We need to find him and fast. Anyway, let's continue searching for Alpha. We have to stop him as soon as possible. That's right. By the way, what's this gate A14? Okay, I guess, yeah, this is all different stuff. It's the entrance to the residential area in the abandoned district. Each district is locked down by a barrier now. Maybe that's the only way to pass through gate A14. But there's a high chance that Alf is there. And we will probably find the civilians that were taken by the drones, too. All right then, let's head to gate A14. Wait, this is an emergency. What's wrong, Karanomari? I was checking out all the equipment. I rebooted the system and got a report. Drones are assaulting people at the shelters. All right, this is similar. This is like the same stuff of shit that we've read before. Oh, no, this is new. Gino, look over there. Oh, man, they're bleeding. I looked where Enforcer Kigari was pointing at, and the man hobbled towards us, 
caked in blood, scared and out of breath. Oh my, okay, yeah, this is a little new here. Are you okay? Please hang in there. You fell to the ground and said the drones are killing people. Help us. Then you lost consciousness. He's dead, Jim. So the drones are literally laying them to rest. It's bad, Gino. This goes on. Many civilians will lose their lives. Karanoa Mari. Sorry, but please continue searching for Alpha. The rest of us will head to the shelters and suppress the drones. Okay. Understood. Soon after, screams could be heard from shelters in the administrative district. But not only from there, cries for help rain all throughout the city. We are literally undermanned for this. Alpha, how long will you continue to make mistakes? How long will you make people suffer? How long? But I kept everything shut within me for now. I headed towards the shelter that the man escaped from, only to witness corpses scattered throughout the city as I tried to not to breathe in the stench of burnt flesh. Ew. Whoa. What the hell? Damn, I can't use the decompressor here. It's far too dangerous. In that case, we'll have to settle things with our fist. Anyway, the decompressor can only fire three times. You should save it as the last resort. Does that mean we're gonna have to use our batons and stun grenades again? Is that it? You gotta fight those drones empty handed? Oh god. I know it sounds absurd, but we have no choice. Don't try to be a hero. We'll split into teams of two. Tsunimori with Kogami and Kujitashi with Tsurugi. I understand. Everyone else? What now? The guests received a report that drones have invaded one of the medical facilities. They're carrying off the patients and shooting any civilians who try to stop them. What? This wasn't the only report, though. We've been getting them non stop. So this is not the only place under attack? No, no shit. Come to think of it, it makes sense. There's drones everywhere. Speak of the devil, looks like we've got some drones over here. Okay, so yeah, we're actually... Okay, my little ramble at the beginning of this part may be a little off, because now we're actually getting something new here. Gino, what should we do? We're outnumbered. We need to act quickly. But it still stands. I know. For now, Sunimori, Kagami, Kuchitashi, and Tsurugi, go to the other shelters. Leave this one to us. Understood. I thought I ran off with the others. The whole time I heard crying and screams. Oh boy. When we reached the residential district, we were greeted with the same tragedy at the hospital and met. Middle school shelters. Oh, God. Civilians were trying to run away from drones. Luckily, not all of them were killed. Some were shot with non-lethal weaponry and only lost consciousness. Well, that's good. Then those civilians were carted off by the drones and most likely taken away like the patients before them. Kujitoski, stop dozing off. Let's go. Sorry, something was bothering me. Does it have something to do with what's going on? Yes. I feel that the drones are somehow selecting which civilians to kill. Having to trust this deficiency syndrome is not the only way they are being weeded out. Another classification? That's right. So by their hues, 
I'm afraid so. To him, the hue indicators the happiness. In this way, people have, who have corrupted hues are wishing for their own unhappiness. Don't mess around. Are you saying that he thinks humans with poor hues aren't worthy to live? Excuse me. Please let me inspect the bodies first. Once we confirm why Alpha is killing these targets, we will know how to protect them. Understood. I will go to the hospital. Kurugi, I leave Kujitashi's safety to you. Don't have to tell me that. I roamed around checking the bodies. After praying open their eyelids, I scanned their retinals with my wrist comm, confirming their identities and hues. And for Sasurugi, do not take the ones who are unconscious yet. I want to check them too. Alright, here they come. A wandering drone scanned the area, then put its sensors on an unconscious male civilian. Did the sensor just tag him? Forces <laughs> Sarugi leaped forward, tackling the drone. It lost its balance and collapsed onto the floor. Meh. There should be an emergency shutdown button on its back. Press it. Roger. He smacked the drone's back and it finally stopped moving. But this brief moment of relief was short-lived as a swarm of engineering drones appeared. Oh, come on! They probably detected us when the other drones scanned the area. All the drones pointed their lasers at us, flashing a red beam. Enforce the Sarugi! Watch out! I'll distract him. In the meantime, raise the decompressor. Focusing on my breasts, I aim my de do my dominator at one of the drones. In instant it parts shifted, transforming mode. Take this! Force Sarugi picked up a potted plant off the ground and hurled it at the drones. They fired their lasers, incinerating the plant. I hope I can hit more things than one. I squeezed the trigger, firing the decompressor. The drones were all hit, taking serious damage, and fell to the ground with huge holes carved in them. Okay, good. It does hit multiple things. Thanks for the help. It's funny how we're such a good team, huh? Yeah, a good team. Of course. After all, we have been inseparable since we were born. I knew his every move and what made him tick, but I could not tell him that. Ever. Moreover, we could not be the same people we had been. Need the small talk for later. For now, please keep an eye out for any suspicious activity. I'll continue checking the hues of the unconscious civilians. Sure thing. Use my hue checker, but I also pointed the dominator at them just in case. Current coefficient is under 60. Not a target for enforcement action. Target trigger locked. As I predicted, these people all have pure hues, but the hues those who are killed are similar to latent criminals. So, Alpha only kills the latent criminals? I don't know if Alpha can calculate the crime coefficients, but it is likely that only latent criminals were attacked because he targeted those with pure, pure hues. Poor hues. I don't know why I said pure there. Isn't that the same thing? Both latent criminals and people who suffer from poor hues have a low possibility of becoming... Intrus is deficient, thus they have been killed. Stop joking! 
Even if he judges people based solely off their hue, what the hell does he, his happiness even mean then? All he's doing is sp spreading pain and suffering. Oh, unforgivable. What he was doing cannot be accepted by the modern society of Sybil. I would only threaten it. Many criminals are certainly regarded as threats to our society. This is why they are quarantined. But it is only temporary. That's why rehabilitation rehabilitated facilities exist. They should not be able to decide who lives and who die, does not. It is Sybil's job to judge and select the latent criminals. We do not need two of them. Oh, must have been a burn. I heard like a weird caw scream sound. I'm like, what the fuck was that? So, I mean, just trying to take over Sybil? Possibly. At any rate, having another entity that mimics what Sybil does will only bring more chaos to society. Chaos in the Windy City. Above all, I understand what fee from those instruments will be alpha. It could become rather useful to Sybil later, as a model for a new administration for society. Also, how can happiness be decided from only one aspect? Even though he had caused all this suffering, Alpha taught me a very important thing. Reducing a person's stress would not increase their happiness. That's right. Hey, you. You remind me of someone I know. Huh? If she ever became a detective, I bet she'd be just like you. I could feel his longing reach, his longing reach out for, to me, the diving into the depths of my chest, and then I cleared my throat. Do you want to meet her? Of course, I want to meet her. That moment, I knew what had to be done, even if it was not the right choice. Otherwise, he would always chase after my shadow. That'd be terrible. I want him to forget the irregularity I was, find someone more normal. But did I have to reveal my true self in order to achieve that? No, that would be selfish. Feeling my true identity might endanger him. It would end the same as rebelling against Alpha's distorted view of happiness. Then I hope you can. But first, let's solve this case as soon as possible. Oh, right. So more people going for our help. Let's get going, Miss Kujitashiki. Yes. Bit my lip, keeping everything inside, following his w wide back. I wish I could see it for just a bit longer. Yeah. Force of Kagami's powerful kick smashed the medical drone's head. It seemed to malfunction as it dropped to the ground with a flurry of sparks. Sparkle! Phew. So have all the drones been terminated? Good work. It's Kujitashi and Tsurugi. How's the situation over here? I can't say it's going well, but luckily these medical drones don't have much firepower. Well, all kind of just like, oh dear god, are you fucking kidding me? Still, the engineering drones infiltrated the building, so we had to fire the decompressor twice already. It is what it is. But as I explained in the report, Alpha is targeting those with corrupted hues. So let's focus on protecting them. Contact Inspector Genoza and let him know. We'll focus on rescuing those with corrupted hues. Once we're done evaluating this shelter, we'll head to where he's at. No matter where they're evacuated to, there's no safe place in this city for them to go. 
True. However, we have to make them believe it is safe. So let's evacuate these civilians to the building that has taken the least damage. Okay, let's move out. No end to this. Where the hell did they all come from? At its peak, the city's population was around 100,000. There should be a comparable amount of drones here. Damn! Drone for every person? There are considerably outdated drones mixed in with the rest. Does that mean they were pulled out from the warehouse? Don't waste your breath. The safety of the civilians is our number one priority. So avoid con con confrontation as much as possible and focus on evacuating the civilians. But where did we take them? There's drones all over the place, you know. You have no choice then. Head out head to the outskirts near the Temp HQ. Inspector Genoza, sorry to keep you waiting. Come to the rescue. Everywhere is a mess. As for now, reports of rescue requests are still. I know. But we're undermanned. We need to act accordingly to the intel that Kujitashki provided us with and help those in need. Yeah, next is. <clears throat> Whoa, power back! Huh? The power's back? This is Shepard 1. What happened? It's me. I have good news and bad news. Which do you want to hear first? Ah, yes, this scene that we've heard so many times, but now it's in a different area, so of course we can't skip it. I don't care, just spit it out. I need to yell. Start with the good, then. Reinforcements are on their way. Cyber Warfare team at the PSP headquarters launched a full support task force to combat Alpha's hacking. As a result of their work, power was restored to the city. Well, as long as they're not bringing drones. They were unsuccessful in their attempt to regain control of the drones, but they kept working on countermeasures and were actually able to shut down some of them. Woo. Well, that was the good news now. Make it quick, we're under fire. This is all a decoy, we've been duped. At the methane hydrate base, there's bombs that's going to explode within like 20 minutes or something like that. If we don't stop it, blah de blah 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 blah. The same stuff that we've kind of already known about. The methane hydrate mining base will contaminate the atmosphere and will severely affect the global climate. We're basically going into another ice age. Because we'd have no sun. No sun to block it. We'd be dead on arrival. So those people that will be saved will just die at least painful death. Ow. Sorry, Mike. Well, I mean, the gate was closed, but it was probably a happy ending. If I didn't feel any stress or anything, I wouldn't be able to survive in this situation. What do we need to do with this situation? What do we need to do with the system? Yep, Cyberware for a team. I haven't managed to pinpoint Alpha's location yet. Yeah, 
一時仮本部へと戻りアルファ捜索を再開する。Expect the Genoza. What about all the other people who need it to be rescued? Backup will have to do it. Sorry. Telling us to abandon them? We'll take all responsibility. Target is Alpha. Don't stop in this country. Actually, this world will be destroyed. I agree with Inspector Genoza. If we only focus on saving those in front of us, more lives will be lost. Such a cow. Choice is foolish. Are you telling us to just watch them die? Isn't there anything we can do to save them? Give up on them. Thinking like that will only cause more stress. Try to put yourself in their shoes. Kagori, it's an order. If you want someone to blame them, blame me. Now is not the time to quarrel. We need to find Alpha as soon as possible. Even if it was not right, sacrifices need to be made. Once we stopped combating the drones, rescue reports came flooding in. But we ignore them all and devote ourselves to find Alpha. In order to save more lives, we had to ignore those in front of us. It was a dilemma since the dawn of mankind. Everyone in Division 1, except for me, seemed bothered by this. Inspector Noza seemed the most effective. Though he made the decision, how precious, how precious to be able to sympathize. However, in order to prevent more casualties, this decision needed to be made. Deep down, I strongly believed that and wanted to tell him that he had made the right choice. Shio, come here. Why, Yayoi? Did you get a hit? Seems like it. There's a bunch of corrupted data inside the system and administrative server of the AI security network. Secretary network. Perhaps that's where Alpha's hiding. Analysis Karanamari, can you contact HQ Cyberware for a team? Okay. Okay. See, so he's security born in the city. Turned to his former home is, well, understandable. Immediately, we received a report from he headquarters confirming that the corrupted data is in the server was a VR space constructed by Alpha. That was where he was hiding. At the same time, it was confirmed via street camera that the people who were taken away by the drones were still alive deep within gate A14. There's two sets of cyber warfare gear. In that case, I'll pursue Alpha alone. Alone? But it's too dangerous. Since there's two sets, wouldn't it be best if an enforcer accompanied you? I have my reasons. First and foremost, since we have located Alpha, to utilize all our manpower to focus on rescuing the civilians. But however, second, if there are two people, it might be difficult to deal with Alpha. In the event I fail, and only if, it is a good idea to have a backup. I think I am the most suited to use the CAW. But if something happens, please let Inspector Sunimori finish where I left off. Okay, so this is definitely interesting and different. Seems like we'll be going in alone. I was on the verge of facing Alpha. As intense as it was, I kept my composure. If I had a partner, I might end up endangering them once my true identity was revealed. Whether it was t 
Takuma or anyone else did not want to put their lives at risk. They were needed in society, after all. Understood. Mizumimori, stay on standby with Masa Oka. Proceed accordingly if something happens to Kujitashiki. The rest of you, focus on the rescue mission. Understood. I'll, I'll, I guard this place while you guys are away. Go save as many people as you can. Shouldn't that be Al? Whatever. Okay. okay, I'll try my best. Alright, then let's go. Hey, wait. Kujitaski. Take me with you, please. You just misunderstood Yukari's wish. I won't stop till I can talk to him. No. Never. Kujitaski. Please, I won't be a bird. I will certainly reach Alpha. Besides, I have a score to settle with him. Was he saying that as Alpha's father? Once again, a tender feeling warmed my chest, but I shook free from it. Please save the people of your hometown. That is what you should do. There are many people waiting for their savior. Shoved him back, spreading his what? Spur, spreading his what the fuck? Going for Sasaruki. It's an order. Save as many villains of South Marine City as you can. Got it. Turned away and left uh, with the others of the Division 1. Once I could no longer see his footsteps, I grabbed the cyber warfare equipment. Hear his footsteps. Takuma, you don't need to be responsible for everything. Only I am to blame. The sin of creating Alpha is a sin only a mother can fix. Well, you heard of the term sins of the father, right? That's why I decided to shoulder this alone. Farewell, Takuma. All right, guys, I'm going to end this one here. This is a long one for sure. So anyway, thank you all. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give that like button a click. Comment down below if you like about the video, if you didn't like about the video. And let me know. This is actually we're getting some different stuff. It's like nothing new, uh, nothing the same. So I'm, I feel like my whole rant that I had at the beginning is kind of null and void now because of this. But, uh. No, I think it's still it's still um valid because we did have some new scenes and such. Uh, but yeah, so let me know what you think about thought about like the new wow the situation is. So this is very interesting to me. So yeah, and as well as guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to my main channel too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, the RBG Kingdom Kid Twitter, are in there too. I want to thank you all so much for watching once again. I'll see you all. Next time.